I'm here in my raspberry patch and I have several raspberries that I have tip layered. I have found that serpentine layering doesn't work as well for raspberries. It works pretty well for trailing varieties of blackberries, but for raspberries it works best to just do a straightforward tip rooting. And I have found one that appears to have tip rooted itself. So it's gone over, gone down, and tip rooted right there into the ground. Let's pull it up and take a look at it. So there you can see, got some little roots right there. So for convenience, and so it makes it easier to transplant, share with some neighbors or friends, I'm gonna re-tip root it right back into this pot. So I just take a simple one gallon pot, Take the raspberry vine. I'm just gonna place it back in the center of the pot. And now I'll just backfill the dirt. And now I'm just going to water it in. In about a month or two, I will come back and I'll trim it about there and I'll have a new raspberry plant that I can take and share with neighbors or plant someplace else. So if you have one of your vines and you found it's already tip layered itself, you can pull it up and put it in a pot. That'll make it easier for transferring or giving to somebody else. You can also just tip root directly into a container, which is what I'm going to do next. Have this raspberry vine right here. It's growing off that other branch. So I've just got a small container here. I'm going to take the tip of the vine and place it down in there. And now I'll just cover it up. I'm going to pack it down a little bit. Helps it to stay in there and not get wind blown and pulled out as easily. And then I'm going to take a little rock and just set it on top. That way it's nice and snug in there. And same thing for this one. About a month or two, I'll come and trim it right there and I'll have this plant as a new one that I can share or put someplace else in the garden. So that's tip rooting raspberry canes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.